In this video, I will show you how to connect HubSpot with N8N. So to do this, first open up N8N and go to a workflow where you would like to use HubSpot and then click on plus and in the search notes bar, just type in HubSpot and then select the trigger you want or the action. I'll use a trigger being on company created. From there, click credential to connect with and click select credential and then create new credential. Now first just go and copy this right here and you will see right here the other things you need and I'll show you how to find those. But for now just open up HubSpot and then what you will need to do is click on the settings icon in the top right in HubSpot. Then go to connected apps under integrations and then click connect your first app or just connect an app. And then you want to go to build apps so that will take you to developers.hubspot.com and then click on go to my account if you already have one or create a developer account if you don't. And from there just sign into your developer account and from there click on create app. Then here click on create app again. And now here you can just name it N8N. Then in the off section, and from here, what you want to do is first scroll down a bit and then under redirect URLs, paste in the URL that you got on N8N right there. And then you will need client ID, client secret, developer API key, and app ID. You can find all of it here. So first go and click on create app. And then here go back to the off section and then first get the app ID and paste that in right here under app ID. Then do the same with the client ID. And finally the client secret. Now you can show this once and then copy it. And finally you need the developer API key. And to find your developer API key just go back to HubSpot and go to keys in the left section and get the developer API key. And then here just create an API key. Click on copy and paste that in here in developer API key. And then click connect my account. And then here select the account you want to connect. So for now just the developer one and then click choose account. Now there's one more thing that we actually need to do and that is the scopes. So in HubSpot go to the apps right there and then click on the N8N app. Then go back to the off section and here under scopes you can see the required scopes. Now here you can actually see the required scopes for HubSpot trigger node and those are the ones you see right here. So it needs to be able to read all of this right here. So what you can do is just get the scope name and then here on HubSpot under scopes click add new scope then paste in the scope and select it and just do the same thing with all of these that you can see right here. And after adding all of those click update and you should then have these required scopes right here and then just click save changes. Now for the normal node you may need different ones so you can see those right here so I'm creating a trigger node but if you're creating an app for use with a HubSpot node and it then recommends starting with these scopes. If you're wondering how to get to this page on N8N just go to need help filling out these fields and then click open docs and then here you will be able to find it. And after you add all of these scopes go back to N8N and click connect my account and then here select your HubSpot account. And then it says you are connecting an unverified app. So you can see what it's able to do. Now just click connect app. And then you can see connection successful, which means I have now connected my HubSpot account with N8N. So the key here is also that your HubSpot developer account is connected to your normal HubSpot account, which you can choose to do during the HubSpot developer account creation. But now it says account connected. And I can now use HubSpot as a trigger and I can also use it for other stuff. So now as a trigger, I have when a company is created and then I can add steps after that. So that's what we need to do to connect HubSpot with N8N. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.